Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a live digital clock in Microsoft Excel. As you see here in the screen, I have already created this digital clock. And uh, if I want to stop the clock, I can simply click on this clock, then it stops. And if I want to again start it, I can re click on it, then the clock will start to run. So here we are going to learn how we can create this digital clock. So let me close this window from here. Then create a new blank workbook. And here let's start with the process of doing this. First of all here in the A1 cell type true. In the A2 cell type 0. Then in the A3 cell, use the now function. Press equal to N O W bracket open bracket close. Press enter. Now right click in this cell. Click on format cells. Now here in the custom option, remove this. Then type D D D dash D D dash M M M. Now this will display the days, date and month. Then click OK. Now right click here in this. A2 cell, click on format cells, then click on the time option, then choose this time format from here. Now click OK. Now insert a shape here to create the clock. So click on insert tab, click on illustrations, shapes, then choose this rectangle rounded corner, then draw the shape over here. Now you can customize the shape by using these controls right click on the shape go to format shape then here go to effect then choose the 3d format choose a 3d style this way now click on the shape outline choose no outline after this to display the day date and month here insert a text box so click on insert tab text then click on text box then draw the text box here. Now click at the border of the text box. Click in the formula bar. Press is equal to. Then click on this A3 cell. Then press enter. Now this will be given in the text box. Now click on the center alignment. And middle alignment. Then drag this text box inside this shape. Then click on shape format. Choose no fill here in the shape fill and choose no outline here in the shape outline. Now here you can change the font size and style of this by going to home tab. Then here choose a different font. Now to keep it at the center of the shape, select both of the shape by holding the control key in keyboard. Then click on this another shape. Now go to shape format then here in the alignment click on this align center now it comes at the center position here you can close this format shape dialog box now to display the time here click on this main shape then click on the formula bar press is equal to then click on this a2 cell then press enter now this time is given here now increase the font size of this by going to home tab Increase the font size, then keep it at the center position by selecting this center alignment. Now, if you want to change the font style, you can go here, then change a different font. Now, create a group of these two shapes because if you move the shape, then this date doesn't move. So, for this, we have to group it. So, to create a group of these two objects, Hold the control key in the keyboard then select this text box. After both of these selected click on save format then click on this group option. Now this is grouped together. If you now drag it both of the object moves together. After creating this now we have to write the macro code in Visual Basic for application. For this right click on the sheet 1 then click on view code. This opens the Visual Basic for Application window. Now here we have to write the 
macro code here. first of all create the sub procedure now start writing this code here now after writing this code here close the VVA editor now click on the shape right click then click on assign macro then select the macro code that you have just created that is the seat one dot clock now click ok now the macro code is assigned here now when you click on this clock then it starts to run and when you click again the clock is stopped again if you click on the clock then the clock will start to run so this is the way of creating the digital clock in microsoft excel and this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial